Hi there, my name is Ron Rogers, and this video is titled Old Aircraft Electronics, otherwise known as avionics. Now, guys flying today, they got GPS, and I'll, I'll show you my little setup in here in just a minute so you can see what it's like in the mo modern day, which you're probably already familiar with anyway. But this is how the old system was before good old GPS. And I want to show you here, first of all, this is a DME, distance measuring equipment. This whole thing, just to measure distance. Well, it would, it would calculate speed. This is a King 65 DME. And it's old. It's uh, not in the best condition. Um, actually, uh, as old as it is, it had a fair amount of integrated circuits. I was actually kind of surprised at the, uh, the number of uh, the integrated circuits in it. And this set, of course, in the avionics bay. Nice, heavy device. And this is fully serviceable as of 01. This is the unit that uh, went up in the instrument panel. And you have miles, and it had uh, time to station and knots. And it was an old um, mechanical um, counter there device. And this thing would count down, and you'd throw this little lever mechanical lever there to convert from one to the other not interesting and this is out of uh i had a i've had two cessnas my uh first one is a 310q model and this is the uh com panel uh for uh intercom panel and you could also uh select various uh navigation functions it was just uh sort of a switching device this um i replaced as soon as i got the aircraft that was about 20 years ago and one other piece I'd like to show you uh, is how we used to navigate before GPS. Now, they're VORs, uh, very high-frequency omni-range stations, but we also had Lorand. And this is a Lorand C um, receiver here. It's a Narco Lorand 820. And it actually had a li liquid crystal display there and a little touchpad. Um, but you could only use it VFR. It wasn't certified for IFR. But actually... It had, for being this old, a fairly high level of sophistication as far as integrated circuits. It had a lot of them um, all in here, as you can see. And, uh, oh, a memory battery. Ba a memory battery. I doubt if that's still good. And aviation electronics humor there. And, of course, uh, these are both identical. Um, but this is the top part of the circuit with the various tuning cans and that. And this was the antenna that you put on the aircraft to uh, receive the Loran signal. Now, I'll show you what the modern day stuff is. It's a lot nicer. This is my current 310. It's an R model uh, for the oldest of you who are into aviation. You probably know what that is. It's a Turbo 310R. And here is my avionics setup. I have to turn on, hang on just a second. There we go. I'll turn on my avionics. Uh, this has a um, Garmin 650 here on my side. And it's, it's an old glass cockpit, actually. It's got a, uh, um, a uh, JPI... Um, I think it's a 790 for the engine instruments and recording data. I have the G500 on the right side. And uh, I have the uh, 650 and the 750. They're going through their warm-up section. But here is the cockpit of the airplane. And uh, I've got an S-Tech Autopilot uh, uh, a 55X, which actually works uh, quite nicely. Of course, we're in the hangar, so it's not going to uh, uh, give us really much displays, but I can turn the thing on, and it gives me a map. Shows the airspace around O'Hare. Of course, it doesn't have a GPS position being inside the hangar, so it doesn't know where it's at. I can't uh, fault it for that. But that's the modern stuff now, and of course, the packages here are extremely small and everything is virtually contained right here in the instrument panel so it's a uh, very 
significant weight savings and there is my backup attitude indicator and altimeter uh, there is my suction gauge for those of you who know about this the only thing that the the two vacuum pumps uh, high uh, capacity vacuum pumps operate are the boots and this gauge so <laughs> no more um, vacuum instruments it's all electronics with a, uh, a battery backup over here in case I lose everything so anyway that's the old to the new I hope you enjoyed the little tour. Thanks for watching.